The U.S., by my count, tried to kill him more than a dozen times. And I write in the book about one incident in May of 2011, where al Awlaki very nearly was killed. He was in Shabwa. He was driving in a two-car convoy. And, uh, and the U.S. had drones and other special ops aircraft, and they were, they were doing this sort of bee swarm on him to try to get him. And they, there was a misfire, and the drone, uh, the, the drone missed al Awlaki's vehicle. And they were driving in a car, in a vehicle that had gasoline canisters, which is common in a lot of countries where there's not just gas stations everywhere you travel. So if it had hit it, it would have just, you know, blown. So al Awlaki and his cohorts believe that uh, that they're being ambushed. They don't know that it's a that it's a drone strike. They feel an explosion. They think someone maybe has launched an RPG at them. So they try to do some evasive maneuvers. Meanwhile, the U.S. aircraft are circling back around, and uh, and they they shoot uh, they fire another missile and it misses again. And now there's this huge dust up. Alaki calls for backup. These two brothers, uh, the Harad brothers, come to the rescue. And there's they're in the they they there's a chaotic scene. There's all of this smoke and clouds. And the Harad brothers get into Alaki's truck. Alaki gets into their Suzuki. And then they it's it's something like out of out of like you know some Hollywood movie. They drive in opposite directions away from the from the smoke. And I talked to a JSOC planner who saw the after action reports. He said we only had the top down imagery. It looks like ants. So we didn't know. And they had to make a decision which truck to follow. So they followed the original one, and they blow that one up. But, but of course, al Awlaki wasn't in it. And al Awlaki watched his car with the two brothers in it blow up while he was in a, on a sort of cliff in the mountains. And then he, he slept overnight there, and then he made his way to the home of a friend of his. And he said that night, you know, that, that he counted, you know, 11 missiles, and he said they all missed their target, but the, the next one could be a direct hit. And sure enough, in, uh, on September 30th, 2011, just a few months later, um, al Awlaki was, uh, was in uh, Jalf province in the north of Yemen, which was interesting, because the U.S. always was looking for him in the south. And uh, he and another American citizen, Samir Khan, who is widely believed to have been the editor of Inspire magazine, the Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula magazine, uh, were getting into their car and driving. And then the, the, the U.S. launched a drone strike and, and killed Anwar al Awlaki and Samir Khan in one strike. <laughs>